Hi, I am Nekmeds. Today, we will learn about how to book any float value in LGL mod menu. So, first of all, why we should do book for float values. We can also patch float value. But hooking is way better than patching. We don't need to use hex values for hooking. Hooking is way better, you can return any value you want. So, let's get started. I am using Alto's adventure game for hooking tutorial. You can use any unity based game. For example, I have this offset and float method. We can also patch the value. But patching will not return exact value we want. We want 69.9 value. There is no known hex to patch the exact same value for float method. So we are going to hook this method. This is float method, and this method should return a value. We can see in screen. In all float method, the method must return a float value. So we can see this method must be like this. And the offset is not for method, it's for the return value. Now our expectation for the method is like this, hope you understand all I said. So let's get into the coding. I am using LGL mod menu version 2.9 for this tutorial. The download link is in description box, you can download from there. I edited the mod menu and made easy for start modding. So you can also download that. First of all, I added target library to hook our method. And I created a toggle switch to active our hack. You can create a switch or checkbox or anything. I created a boolean for activate our hack when we click our toggle switch. And I created a switch case for activating our boolean. It will make our boolean return true value. So we can know if switch is enabled or not. So creating case is important. I also added a toast to know our switch is on. I created a hook pointer, so it will return a value for our method. I added a void player in that pointer. Then I created a float method to return our value. And I also added a player void to identify our player or hook method. I created a if statement. If player isn't equals to null, it will do further. If player is equals to null, it will prevent crashes. Then I created another if statement to know if switch is on or off. If it detects switch is on, it will return 69.9 value. If switch is off, it will return normal values. Then I gave the returned value to our hook pointer. Now, our hook function is done. Let's point the hook function into our offset. Our mod menu is for 32 bit game, so I am writing code in else statement. If your game is 64 bit, write an if statement. I am using hook lib function to point our offset. Define your library name here. For my offset, the library name is libal2cpp.so. You can set your library name. Let's copy the offset. Let's paste the offset here, paste like how I am doing. Now copy the first float method name and paste it, and add comma there. Again copy the second float method name and paste it. Then close the bracket and complete the line. Now build the app, and add the mod menu inside app. I won't show the process of all. I have already made video on how to add mod menu inside game. I will do that and let's test it works or not. I got something smooth in my cup, yeah I drop one they go take a puff, yeah I All done, you can do same for int For int just change the float method into int method And return value must be in int If you don't understand, for int value, the hook function must be like this So, next tutorial video will he how to hook void method like this Complete 69 likes for next tutorial Thanks for watching my video